Hey, welcome to another episode of Beers, Jack and Barbecue. So tonight we're just going to do my favorite cut of meat is the ribeye. Um, as you can see here, we got two real nice ribeyes. Uh, cameraman Jack is here, so everything's going to look good tonight. Um, these here are measuring almost three inches high. They're about two and a half pounds each. So we're going to do the indirect uh, uh, cooking first, get it up to temperature to about 120 degrees, uh, 115 maybe, and then sear it pretty hard right over the direct side of the, of the Kimono Joe. So outside, I, you'll see I have it set up for indirect and direct cooking. Um, the indirect side, I have the rack on a higher level, and the, the direct side, I have on the lower level. Um, season, usually I like to season about 24 hours, but we had snow yesterday in Pennsylvania, so I didn't get a chance to pick the steaks up till this morning. Um, so I shouldn't say that, so it's lunchtime. So I seasoned them with salt and pepper, put them in the fridge, let them sit. Um, took them out about an hour and a half ago to let them warm up some. Uh, but we'll be uh, putting them on the grill, going to be probing it the whole cook. And uh, we'll show you what goes on on the grill and let you, let you see it when everything's done. But you'll see a few times, um, as I said, putting it on the grill. As it gets to temperature, we'll move it to the direct side. We'll probably won't uh, show you what goes on there. And then bring it in the house and cut into one and see what everything looks like. So uh, we'll see you out in the grill. All right, so here we are at the grill. I got the grill running around 400 degrees right now. And I actually just opened the vents up almost all the way up. Uh, just going to let the temperature rise so when I'm ready to go to the direct side, I'm going to have a real hot fire going to do it. So, uh, so we always burp the grill when it gets up above 400. One thing I forgot to mention is we're in Pennsylvania, like we mentioned in the, in the beginning episode. And temperature tonight, um, low, low 20s for tonight. So uh, you see how nice and uh, big these steaks are. They said we're going to start them out here. Going to probe them the whole time. <clears throat> Just to keep an eye on, on how everything's cooking. All right, so we'll check on it as the temperature gets up towards uh, maybe about 80, 90 degrees. I'll probably flip them um, and then we'll, uh, we'll show you then. All right, so it's just uh, one steak's about a little above 90. Um, grill's firing hot. Steaks are looking good. Just gonna give them a quick flip. Get a probe back in. Want to get the grill closed quick with all the fire going. All right, so here we go. I reached just about 120 with the steaks. So I'm going to now pull the probes, put it over the direct side. Looks nice and juicy. Gonna leave them go about two minutes aside and they'll be pulling them off. All right, here's going on uh, two minutes. Gonna give them a flip. Well, they're looking really nice. Can't wait to uh, dig into these tonight. All right, so it's been going on just about two minutes. I'm going to pull them off. Take them inside, let them rest, and we'll show you what they look like. All right, as always. All right, so... Just did two steaks tonight. Like I said, they measured almost almost three inches tall, uh, about two and a half pounds each. We're shooting for an internal temperature of 120 when we did the indirect side. Um, had the grill running almost at 500 degrees. So as you can see, it's got a real nice char around everything. Um, after we got to 120, we put it on the direct side. Um, left that go just about, just under two minutes aside, just to actually finish it off a little bit of a sear. Um, like I said, we seasoned it with salt and pepper. Um, at lunchtime today, and it's uh, right now about 7 o'clock, so uh, it wasn't on a lot. I usually like to go 24 hours, but uh, these steaks are looking good. I'm going to cut into this one now, and we're shooting, like I said, for a low, medium, rare. 
very nice and tender. And I don't know what you're seeing there, but that looks like we got a perfect medium rare on that steak. So tonight's going to be a good meal. So if you like what you're seeing, subscribe to the channel, give us a thumbs up. Um, I uh, haven't mentioned before, but you click the little bell. It'll actually give you notices when we release videos since we do that like every two weeks. Um, but hopefully, like I said, you like what you're seeing. You'll give us some comments and uh, look forward to seeing you next time.